Hey everyone, I'm here to do a comparison video today. It is a little cold, <laughs> but not too bad. It's a rare sunny day here in Ohio. So um, anyway, my comparison that I want to do for you today is the Socate versus the Pagal. So I get a ton of questions. Probably my number one question I get about comparing heels is what's the difference between the Socate and the Pagal? So I'm gonna go through those for you guys and kind of go over some of the similarities and differences. They are both essentially the same type of shoe. They are 120 millimeters with no platform. Both have the nice pointy toe, but there are a lot of differences. So with the Socates, I'll start with those. That's what I have on right here. They are a lot pointier. So the actual toe box on the Socate, I'm holding up the Pagal here for reference. The Socate toe box is a lot longer and it actually shows a little bit more toe cleavage as well. So, I mean, you've got probably an extra centimeter at least of toe box length in the Socate. That does not make it more comfortable, however, because the toe box on the Socate is also a little bit more narrow. So if you have slightly wider feet, you may find the Pagal with its wider toe box a little bit more comfortable. My feet are average to maybe a little bit narrow, so the Socate actually works pretty well on me, but so does the Pagal. So you kind of have options if you've got a, like a regular width foot. The other big difference that you'll notice right away between them is the, um, diameter of the heel. So the, the heel on the Socate is actually way, way, way skinnier than the heel on the Pagal. So much so that when I take my Socates into the cobbler, it's actually hard for them to find a tip that is small enough. So if you look at my resold Socates and retipped Socates, you'll see that the tip is actually a little bit too big for them because that's kind of the smallest thing <laughs> that they can go. These are a little bit bigger. That does give the Pagal a little bit more stability. So if you're looking for a shoe that's a little bit more stable, the Pagal is gonna give you just a little bit more with that heel. Um, other than that, there's another big difference that's harder to see unless you're up close with these shoes. So we'll make sure to intersperse some up close shots. <laughs> Thanks camera guy. Um, but the Socate has a bit of a curvier arch to it. It pops your foot arch out a little bit more. And I think it looks a little bit more stylish and a little bit more modern. Whereas the Pagal here, you can see it's a very like straight diagonal there. So I don't think that that looks quite as flattering on most people. Um, I think it probably did a few years ago when the shoe came out, but I would say in general, I prefer how the Socate looks there. The other thing I do want to point out is that this is the old style Pagal. So that was produced um, 2013 or before. The Pagal that they produce now is a lot different. It looks a lot different. I don't have that one with me. So you have to trust me there. They also started producing the Pagal in a slight platform and that's it's called the Pigal Play-Doh. I also don't have that one because like I said, I don't like the Pigal shape quite as much as I like the Socate. If you had to have me pick one, I would definitely pick the Socate as far as its design goes. And I obviously have way more pairs of Socate. You're actually looking at my only pair of Pigal. I will say though, the Pigal is kind of special to me because it was my first ever pair of heels gifted to me by my boyfriend that's now my husband. Um, so and they definitely have a big sentimental value for me. Now, the other thing that I did want to point out is that all of your Louboutins are going to get stretched a little bit. And I've said this in other videos, but I will say that these Pigals are almost too big for me now. So both of these pairs of shoes that I have are a 39. This Pigal in a 39 is almost too big. So if I would repurchase it again, I would get a 39 and a, or a 38 and a half. And the other neat design, which is covered up here in my Pigal, but I will take this toe pad off for you, is there's a little elastic thing in here that helps it conform to your foot a little bit. I love that design. I wish they used it in a lot more of their shoes. Um, obviously it's covered up because like I said, these are a little bit too big for me. So I had to put a heel grip in, but that's kind of a neat feature that Louboutin designed. Um, really the only other difference between these that I would put out, point out is that there's, they're not quite as low cut. These Pigals are not quite as low cut on the side as the Socate. And I think that's one of the reasons why you see a little bit more of the foot and the arch pop in the Socate. I love both, they're great shoes. Like I said, I take them both in a 39, but a 39 in a Socate is going to be um, maybe half a size tighter on your foot than a 39 in a Pigal. So I'll just do some walking for you guys so you can see. I think I have, ooh, gotta be careful with the, <laughs> with the cracks. I think I have six or seven pairs of Socates now. I keep buying more. <laughs> and then I have just this one pair of Pigals. If you're looking for something that's really easily available, you'll find the Socate. It's always available in black of some sort and nude. So I've got um, the black calf. I don't have a black patent Socate at 
and I don't have a nude patent so kit yet either. So just a couple of things that I'm always <laughs> looking out for. Um, other than that, I just wanted to say thank you to Patreon. I love you guys. You are so much fun to talk to every day. You give me tons of good video ideas. This one being one of them. Numerous patrons have been like, hey, I'd love to compare some video of the truth. So thank you. If you haven't already supported me on Patreon, please think about it. We have tons of cool membership levels and I love to get all that interaction in with you guys. And then the other thing is just wanted to say follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and that's engineering and heels on Instagram and then subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope this helps. If not, I will be around to answer questions if you have any more. Thanks for watching.